Hey guys, uh, welcome to another part of uh, our series, um, 3ds Max to Blender. Uh, so in this part of the series, what we are going to do is uh, learn about um, constraints. Um, so in a more uh, appropriate way, if I say it, uh, it's uh, it's called a vertex constraint. So it is a um, it is uh, because people who are uh, well acquainted with 3ds Max. They know that it is pretty easy to uh, to snap. It's actually, not a snap, but constraint um, one one vertex to an edge. So when you move a vertex, um, this this vertex will get attached to the ver uh, to the edge, um, whichever way you move. <clears throat> so you won't be able to move it when when there is no other edge connected to it. Okay. So um, so another uh, benefit of this in max is that you can you can uh, you can say whether you want this to preserve the uvs or not okay uh, i was trying to find this thing in blender but it was really hard for me in the in the beginning uh, but then i found that there are multiple ways to do it uh, in blender so uh, so let's jump right into it um, it's pretty easy it's not that hard to learn but but i'll show you first okay so so for for easy pur easy visual purpose i'll just isolate one of this leaf uh, so, so I'm go going to uh, element mode. Uh, I just get this branch as well, so like it'll look better. Uh, okay, then then we go into hide and select it. So we got just one uh, one of the leaf, okay, uh, of this plant, which I am which I was modeling in speed tree. So now I go to vertex mode. Then when I select select the vertex, and if I sorry about that, like if I move this vertex uh, without any uh, without any constraint. Can see that it will uh, it will stretch you know everywhere so it is going to stretch my uh, texture so i don't want that to happen because i need to make a good flow uh, of this uh, vertex um of this i mean of these segments but i don't at the same time i don't want to uh, destroy my uvs so uh, how will you do that in max it is very easy uh, so when you're going to editable, editable poly mode here in the in the under modify stack you go into edit geometry uh, panel over here and you have uh, certain uh, constraints here so we have none means uh, it won't affect anything i go to edge constraint when you click on ed edge constraint uh, when you move the vertex uh, it'll um, it'll actually get constrained to uh, to that that specific edge which you're moving that on so when, when I, so when i move it on this this side you can see that it's getting constrained to that specific edge okay this is pretty useful for, uh, for uh, inside max then we have a phase constraint uh, I won't be going over this in blender but I'll be just I, I'll just show you what options we have in max it is pretty easy so it just uh, goes on on that specific phase like it doesn't go anywhere else okay but on this surface of this phase then we have normal so I'm just going to do uh, on the on the edge and what what can you do uh, if you want to preserve the UVs there is a checkbox here preserve UVs if I check that on and if I move it, it will actually uh, preserve the UVs and I can move the vertex anywhere I want. Like, if I, if, like, uh, like for example, if I need to get uh, this, uh, these edges very close to this uh, leaf, I can move them. Uh, I think these the vertices are not connected. Okay, just move them like this so that I get a really good, uh, good silhouette for the leaf. Okay, so this you can do pretty easy in, easy in max. Um, uh, because most of the, most people uh, who are watching this might already know about this, okay? Uh, vertex getting constrained to an edge and also preserving UVs. Now, how will you do this in in Blender? Um, I well, like when I started out Blender, it was really hard for me to find this uh, option. Um, so what it is, same same thing as like all of us do. We go into Google and we search uh, for the you know options about how to get this done now you know, in blender i just isolate one of the leaves just like we did in uh, max just because you know it'd be much easier to uh, to, to see uh, there are so many like too, too many overlapping stuff over here so first i'm going to edit mode uh going to uh, and going to uh, face selection so I select one face maybe both of these and there is no element selection inside uh blender so like max there's no button to do do it so you can do uh, you can use a sh uh, sh uh, shortcut key that is that comes by default uh, control l it will select all the 
connected faces so i'm going to select shift select this because this is a separate piece and also this one and again press ctrl l so you got a small menu here you can choose which one you to go for seam means it will just connect, uh, select only the connected faces between seams i mean within the uh, uv seams okay so i'm just choosing normal uh, then then to hide just just i mean just to hide the other ones that are not not selected so you press shift h shift h will actually hide all the uh, polygons that are not not selected it is somewhat like a uh, isolate selection uh, inside max okay uh, not isolate size selection sorry about that isolate selection you have to use use another option i will show you in another video but this is uh, select i mean hide only uh, unselected okay polygons now how will you do the same thing in uh, in blender so i i go into vertex mode yeah, select vertex here now when i uh, move move the vertex okay around you can see that it is the same thing is happening like it is stretching the uvs and it's going everywhere like when i go from the side view see that it is getting getting like stretched and going out of control so so there are a few ways to do this um so first method is to use the toolbar over here you have to be in edit mode okay uh, and go into vertex now in the toolbar there's a um, button here way below uh, it's like uh, colored in pink uh it'll be by default it'll be an edge slide okay so i'm going to press my mouse and hold it there and go to vertex slide select it now you get the this this kind of an uh this kind of an icon here now when you move this you can see that you can see do the same thing what you saw in max uh so it is constraining um that vertex to uh to an edge and also it is preserving the uvs so this is the easiest way to do it uh, because you can see that see the option uh, in the viewport uh, it's a uh, it's a tool tool uh, you can just select, select the tool uh, if you don't see the vertex option press and hold you can get uh, the vertex slide option um so i'm just going back to uh, so so i just pressed uh, the uh, the space bar and going to select box we can use this this option over here on the toolbar now now i'm back into uh, selection mode okay now there is no change now that's that was the first way you uh, using the tool now the second way is to use uh, use a shortcut key uh, you had to press uh, g key g two times okay two times right after the other one after the other so how how that looks is you press g g and you get uh, a kind of a small uh, arrow heads that are that are facing along the edge you you selected uh, so when i move up and down you can see that it is it is moving that vertex constraint and at the same same time automatically um, preserving the uvs so there is no button or anything you just do this it is very easy okay uh, you don't have to check uh, click on any checkbox or, or options or anything just press gg and just slide now third option is what what if you if you don't want to preserve the uvs now uh now this this tool it will it will preserve the uvs by default and also gg will preserve the uvs uh, by default so what will happen if i if i uh, if i don't need to preserve the uvs there are some cases where you want to stretch it but at the same time um constrain uh, to an edge so that can be done uh, like it is also pretty easy but there's a two step process here here so you select, uh, you select the vertex which you want to constrain okay press gg then click once on the on the mesh click don't move anything now you have the the, the mouse is free then you get a context menu here okay so uh, context menu is actually got a vertex slide and in this there is an option called correct uvs so so this is what the same terminology used in max for uh, preserve uvs so here it says correct uvs just a name name change so select this i mean uh, uncheck this and you can click somewhere in the uh, in the like in the viewport to deselect okay so next time you uh, you press gg okay uh, it will constrain the the vertex to an edge but at the same time it won't uh, correct the uvs so let's let's try it out so just in pressing pressing gg now when i move you can see that the uh, the vertex is getting constrained to 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 that edge 
the specific edge which you want to move it but it is not uh, preserving the uvs okay this is the uh, this is the third way to do it so it is pretty hand handy but one thing you need to remember is that once you've finished doing this you need to uh, check it on again so correct uvs if you want to want this to work the next time you do it okay so press on correct uvs so you're done next time you uh, press gg and move it's good okay now uh, let's go to the next uh, next way to do it okay there are as i said there are multiple ways to do it in blender uh, not just one uh, so i select the same same vertex again okay i press the space bar and i go to move tool because move tool uh, you need so in this case you need the move tool to uh, to get activated okay now when i move it is still the same stretching okay so there's a sidebar here in blender so you can access it in uh, two ways one is uh, is a small arrow here see this small arrow here so click on it and it will open the sidebar or you know, click it back again like um, like so you press the n n key on the keyboard n letter n it will bring back that uh, that sidebar okay then 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 you have to go to um, if you're in this if, like if you're in any other tab here go into tool tab while in edit mode and vertex selection um, you you got something called uh, correct face attributes so check that on okay now if you move let uh, move the vertex you can see that uh, it is um, correcting the uh, the the uvs okay but the only only thing is that here it is not constraining okay here it is here it is like uh, free you know, just just okay, you can you can move it around but still it is um, keeping your keeping your uvs so preserve uvs at the same time not uh, constrain so this is this is this, uh, this is the another option okay so this cor uh, correct face uh, correct face attributes option is uh, is 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 really useful uh, because you can uh, you can keep the uvs um, uh, like you can move you can edit the mesh without destroying the uvs okay so these are the um, multiple options you get in uh, in 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 blender uh, for uh, for the vertex con uh, vertex constraint at the same time uh, uh, cutting the uvs okay guys thanks for watching